Hi, Timothy here. So let's talk about noodles. Noodles are a staple in Japanese cuisines as you can see from the wide variety of noodles such as ramen, sukemen, udon, or soba, with each prefecture has their own style. But here in Nagoya, they take their creativity one step further. Not only they add some twist to Japanese dish, but even to Italian dish. And this time we are going to explore these unique noodles that are only available here in Nagoya. So let's check them out. Our first stop is an udon place. And because Nagoya is famous for its miso, we are going to try a miso udon that comes boiling in this hot pot. It is a pretty simple dish. There is udon noodle, a raw egg that is now cooked, some lick, and tofu skin. And we can use the hot pot lid as the plate. I think hot. The thing that I noticed right away is the texture of the udon. Typically udon is quite chewy, but this one is very thick and firm. I guess it makes sense to prevent the noodles from becoming soggy quickly because of the boiling soup. Even though the broth is so thick, the taste is actually pretty mild. I also ordered a miso oden. Oden is a type of stew with various ingredients. And in this case, we have a chikua or fish cake a potato, and a giant radish. The radish is quite tender and it's very juicy. And I like the sauce on top of it. Normally, Oden has a very light flavor, but this thick miso paste make it sweeter and more flavorful. It's time to try Japanese Italian food. Japanese people love pasta, especially spaghetti. But personally, I think they are totally different from Italian ones. It is more like Japanese spaghetti instead. And at this place, they have something interesting called Ankake spaghetti, which is some kind of soup spaghetti. And they have tons of varieties as well, from meat, seafood, and even vegetarian option. And as always, I ordered the number one item on the menu. It consists of some sausages, bacon, bell pepper, and mushroom. But the highlight of this food is the soup, or more like a very thick sauce. So let's try it right away. Wow, that's good. The pasta is not al dente, it is chewy like ramen noodle, and the sauce is a bit peppery, slightly spicy and starchy, and somehow it goes really well with the sausages. It is definitely not Italian, but this is pretty good. Our next unique noodle is another Japanese Italian food that is available in most coffee shops in Nagoya. We are looking at a spaghetti served on top of a hot plate. And they also have varieties of options to choose from. But as usual, I got the recommended item. Here we have the old fashioned Napolitan, which is a spaghetti with a couple of winners on top of an omelette on top of a hot plate. With some familiar toppings as the sauce spaghetti like bell pepper, mushrooms, and sausages. Let's try it out. Mmm, that's good. The spaghetti is very chewy. I think they call it mochi-like texture. And it tastes very tomatoey. Now let's get a bit of egg. I don't know. I think the egg doesn't go well together with the spaghetti. It is kinda bland and the texture doesn't go well with the spaghetti. But the spaghetti and the winner go pretty well. For our last noodle, we are going to try Nagoya specialty ramen called Taiwan Ramen. It is said that the creator of this ramen came from Taiwan, hence the name. 
It looks like a spicy ramen with some minced pork topped with a raw egg. So I guess we have to mix the egg into the broth first. Wow, that is pretty spicy. The broth is nice, it is salty, porky, but mostly spicy. I think for Japanese people this is really spicy because normally Japanese food are either not spicy or extremely spicy. And this one is the latter. Now let's try the noodle with a bit of chive, bean sprout, and some minced pork. With a bit of everything is pretty nice. The noodle is firm but still has a nice chew to it. And the pork is savory, it helps tone down the spiciness a bit. So those are some unique noodle dishes from Nagoya. Each of them is unique and delicious, but my favorite is the sauce spaghetti. Because it is unlike anything that I've tried before. So give it a try whenever you are in Nagoya. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.